This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument! The slick colors, the handsome lines. Yes, that's the prototype. But why is it in that bizarre position? Hmm, I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's actively clamping down on the monument. Did something happen here? Ben, Anton, you guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that! <sighs> you two be careful in there! The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places! Don't worry! The cockpit was well sealed! It's still pretty clean inside! Huh? This... this is... No mistaking it, that's a bullet hole! That's not all, Kaleida! Just look around! There are bullet holes all over the cockpit! What? <sighs> what happened here? The casings all fell inside the cockpit. So the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. Hmm? There's a stack of notes on the center console. Wait. This is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this! That's a bill for the prototype! Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah, the amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay... What is it, President? Look at this! That's a bill for the prototype! Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah, the amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. I knew a guy like Horse would never do something like running away with company funds! Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence! Uh, wait. Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did he disappear? We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man... My dad didn't run away of his own accord. But then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. Damn it! I get it now. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird! He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and... What exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous. But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. That's right, President. We'll find a way! Nathan is ready to help whenever you need it, Kaleida. Everyone. Yeah, you guys are right. As president, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Okay, let's get this prototype back! Over this way. Let him are. Careful. Slowly now. That's it! Steady now, steady! No worries, I'm on it! <laughs> Job done! Let's go.
We're all finished here. Hmm. Huh? Wait! I seem to have forgotten something very important. Right! The seal! My mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. <sighs> but what could the seal actually be? Doesn't look like one, but yet, ether levels are shockingly high. You've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? It doesn't look like an ethereum, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. What's wrong, Belle? What in the world? Oh no! Hans, fight it! Come in! Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone! Can absorb the machines? This monster's aura. I've never felt like this before. Can't believe that was in the monument. Sam, is this what he? Because he found this?
continues, we're done for! The prototype? President! It took a while to get this thing moving. Leave it to me! Come on, you punk! Go, President! Bell, look who's here. Yo, Proxy! What's up? Kaleda, did you go to the hospital? What were the results? Don't worry, I got the all clear. I kept saying I was fine, but my sister and Anton insisted I get a bunch of tests to the hospital just in case I have ether corruption. I understand why they're worried. You were in the prototype fighting that monster at close range for a long time. We didn't know if it could cause any special harm to humans. <laughs> I guess you're right. Speaking of which, how goes the investigation into the monster in the prototype? Oh, that's actually the reason I came. Let's start with the monster. Public security called this morning. Said they're making the necessary technical preparations to recover the monster's remains. Oh, that's good. The monster's remains are pretty unique, so I thought it'd take public security longer to deal with. Yeah, that's thanks to those two pubsick girls who came to investigate the scene. But we can't just wait around while they investigate the monster. 
Can I leave this thing to you, Peyton? like thing is the external memory unit from the prototype's logic core you mentioned before, right? Right, exactly. Back then, when he found the monster was hidden in the monument, my dad must have driven the prototype there with the intention of destroying it. If that's the case, there may be some clues left within the external memory unit. But my dad used a special encryption process, so we have no way to read the data inside. I hate to ask, but can you help? There's no need to be so polite, Kaleida. Besides, we actually have our own reasons for wanting to look into the monster. We'll find a way to decrypt the data inside. Don't worry. Great. Then I'll leave the storage unit with you. I have a meeting with the supplier, so I'll be heading out. Take care. Good luck with the project. See you soon. I'll be waiting for some good news from you. It feels like Kaleida's demeanor has changed since we first met her. She's become a more mature president. I never expected what seemed like a simple commission to unearth Bellabog's past and involve such a mysterious monster. Bell, if I recall correctly, didn't you say something about your eyes feeling strange when that monster started emanating energy? Yeah, it didn't last long, but my eyes started to feel uncomfortable. There's definitely something off about where that monster came from. It might have something to do with that thing we've been trying to find out about. Anyway, the remains were handed over to public security. We have to find a way to decipher the information on this storage unit. Fairy, since we've increased our electricity bill fivefold to keep you going, you should be able to decipher it, right? I'd be happy to be of service, Master. However, given the need to decipher it quickly, your current system's computing power, and your electricity usage requirements, I do not recommend doing it here. There is a hacker on Internaut, codename Rain, who, judging by their resume, fits your current needs. This person has also done business with Nicole from The Cunning Hairs. Rain? I've heard of her, Bell. She's a first-rate proxy when it comes to cracking encryption. Since she's Nicole's acquaintance, we'll have an easier time contacting her. Nicole would never miss an opportunity to use her contacts to cover her debts, after all. <laughs> <laughs> 